How Did a Bunch of Balloons Kill a Man in 1986? In the 1980s, Cleveland, the city invented by Moses Cleveland, whose economy is dependent on LeBron James and leads the nation in drifters, decided it was time to reinvent themselves. Instead of using their usual tagline of goodbye jobs, hello bums, they decided to rebrand themselves as an all-American city. So how did they decide to go about this reimagination? By trying to break a world record by releasing 1.5 million balloons into the air at once, and thus Balloon Fest 86 was born. What could possibly go wrong? On September 27th, 1986, the balloons were released in less than ideal weather. Soon, the colorful spectacle was hijacked by Mother Nature, and the wind and rain caused the balloons to start to head towards the ground. The local airport had to close for 30 minutes, cars smashed into one another trying to avoid the swarm, and beachgoers in Canada were seen wading through balloons. The balloons also complicated a search by the Coast Guard for a lost boater in Lake Erie, leading to the man dying before help could arrive. His wife filed a $3.2 million lawsuit two years later. But on the bright side, Cleveland did get a world record and a good amount of press for this disaster of an event. I also heard that the balloons were tried and convicted for their actions and sentenced to death by needle.